Good morning, everyone. This is Chris with Sticker Fab. If you'll notice, there's another Bronco in my driveway. No, we didn't buy another Bronco, but AC Joe decided to come by and get some stuff installed. I'm not really doing installs for customers, but if you have a vehicle and I need a template, I'm willing to give you whatever. I'll put a bunch of stuff on your vehicle and you can take off what you don't like, but at least I can get my templates off of what I do need personally. If anyone has a two door in the Fort Myers area, I would love to get my hands on one so we can do the lower door protection. Um, I think that's all we need from a two door. Some people did help me out with the two door door seals. The four door one is hugely popular. Um, some people like this 3D carbon uh, material on other stuff. Some just like it uh, on the door seals because it's really uh, resilient. It's a little bit thicker than most of our vinyls. Um, it doesn't really show wear uh, that quickly. These are very affordable and they're very effective in protecting the paint on the seals. Um, so the only thing I've done so far are these signature style uh, DRL uh, bar overlays. Actually, they're more of a turn signal on these standard headlights. So we continued this bar out to there just like the ones over here on the actual uh, signature ones. We will be making a V2 uh, short style, but this video is going to be of our, we're going to call it the V3 grill uh, because we have the outlined one, uh, the standard one, which is solid color, and this one be a combination. We're actually going to go for uh, letting you accent that R like we have on the Bronco Sport. Um, so you can get everything in one color and then do the R in another. We're gonna do the install video of blue and then the R will be orange. Let me go get some stuff. I'll be right back and we'll knock out that installation. Alrighty, everyone is in a different climate. I try to stay cognizant of that. Right now it's 64 degrees right now. Ideally, it'd probably be around 70 to 80 degrees if you guys are up north. Uh, yeah, it's, it's basically winter for you guys. So you want to apply this in a in a warm environment, like a uh, if you have a job site where you can go into and they have a climate controlled area, or if you have a, a heated garage and you can get everything warm. I mean, you can't just throw this into your garage and expect the best outcome. You could probably knock it off, but ideally this would be sitting in a warm environment for a little while. Um, that's the way adhesive sticks the best. Now, if you are in a very warm climate, if you're watching this video uh, during the summer and um, you don't really want it to be right in direct sunlight, the, uh, the vinyl can stretch a little bit. I don't know why my dogs are barking, but I'm using speed wipe to clean the application area off. This speed wipe does not have uh, any, any wax in it. It's not like wash and wax or anything. Um, and using a microfiber, you can get microfibers on our website, a uh, little bit cheaper ones than these, but I mean, they only cost a dollar. So if you don't want to go out and grab one, uh, you can just grab one of those. Sometimes I just use the, uh, soapy water mixture that I'll show you in a second to, uh, clean off these, these little application areas. Um, I kind of want to clean all around the application area, even though we only apply it to the front surface. Uh, it is a vinyl sticker, so it doesn't really wrap around the edges um if i could expect that every customer was a wrap installer uh we could do more coverage but even i'm not that good oh my gosh that dog okay so you get all of these nice and clean and you can kind of set that microfiber aside for a little bit and we're going to give you two full sets. Now, this is our normal uh, V1 grill, single color. We probably won't be giving you the, the single color R's, or, or we might. I don't know. Um, either way, you're going to have two B's, at least two R's, two O's, two N's, two C's, and actually four O's. Um, and then you're going to have your accent color uh, R's, and you'll get two of those too just because I don't expect you guys to be totally familiar with vinyl and how it applies. Um, so I give you two chances. You might want to keep a hair dryer around and that's to apply uh, light heat after you um, 
get these in the location that you want them to be. Make sure your hands are clean. Application area is clean, like I mentioned. Um, I do recommend soapy water because you might not put it on there correct the first time. Soapy water, fill all of this up with soap. Um, we have these bottles on our site. You can just use a bowl too. A couple drops of dish soap or a couple uh, drops of hand soap should work. Some people have said on reviews they just dunk the entire thing into a bowl of this soapy water mixture. So I'm going to spray there. You can spray the uh, the letter two if you want. Let me just put this right here. You got to kind of line yourself up eye level with the letter and apply it. Now all these letters uh, on the grill are kind of three-dimensional, so we don't cover 100% of the edges because of that. Oops. Now it's pretty well aligned. Um, I will need to push down in some of these corners, but what I'm going to do Make sure there are no bubbles here. Uh, the soapy water mixture will help get out some of those bubbles. So there we go. Um, done the R. I will move this back into the sun and it'll just heat up naturally and then I can push it all down before I go on a trip before you actually try to run this thing through a car wash um because you don't want it flying off so use a little heat if you do the heat gun if you do the hair dryer make sure that your skin can tolerate that heat so if you feel like that's so much heat that it's going to burn your hand it might stretch the vinyl that might be a little bit too much heat we're not vinyl wrap applicators we're just normal dudes and dudettes installing small pieces of vinyl on their Bronco. So use a little bit of heat and you won't have to worry about ruining your overlays. Um, easiest thing to do on some of these letters is to line up attributes like the two openings for the B. That's an easy attribute where you can align the rest of the, the logo based on that. And if you get the alignment slightly off, just raise it because you've used that soapy water. Push all that water out with your hands when you're happy with the alignment. Again, this inner corner right there, just go wait for that to get warm. And I'll press it right down inside to that, that little crevice and we'll be looking good. The rest of this video I will speed up because we're just basically doing the same thing over and over again. And then I'll come back and show you what the final product looks like.
All right, guys and gals, you can go back to the beginning of the video to see how this vehicle looked stock without the vinyl on the grill. I really like the way this looks. Uh, customer wanted that Accent R, kind of stands out. Customer might get a little, uh, get a couple questions about this, just because this is not what you see on the lot every day, and this is not what you see in press uh, photos and whatnot. These vehicles aren't there out in circulation as much. Um, as as some other vehicles but they're highly desired so great topic of conversation we get compliments about our vehicle all the time even the baby uh what we call the baby bronco the bronco sport uh actually gets a lot of comments as well uh mother-in-law took it up to alabama and along the way people have asked about it people have turned around just so they could talk to them at the gas station uh these vehicles are pretty cool and i think there is a trim uh, and a model to fit kind of everyone's needs this is a big bend and it has a sasquatch just like our area 51 badlands uh, over there that has the sasquatch both look great i love this white color turns out really well in photos um and this is the point of the video where i thank you guys for purchasing uh on our website uh giving us uh recommendations on what we should do next uh keep those coming we'll try to knock out as many of them as possible um, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit that bell notification icon, and you will get notified when we come out with either a new product, new product video, etc. So, you guys have a great Friday. Take care.